Welcome to Old Shite, I'm Gazman. This episode, Life and Death 2, The Brain. Very dramatic, very foreboding. Showing you all the different colours brains can be. Very, very nice. I think mine is a pinky grey colour. And, uh, and that was where the budget ran out. Anyway, Dr. Gazman is zero out of zero successes. Notice that there's zero failures in there as well, so. We're going to check on our first patient. There he is. And let's check the clipboard. 27 year old man, semi conscious. Right, so let's start off with a battery of diagnostic tests. Mm -hmm. To see if he knows the words to Alice, please, Smokey. Yeah, Alice, who the fuck is Alice? And my favourite diagnostic tool of all, the pin. Just see if he rest it. If he rest it, he's a prick. Pass that one. And uh, now the big burnt match, or the derpilator, as I like to call it. Yeah, check the response of the eyes. And finally, a little laser. I'm going to zap him in the eyes. Pew! 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 No reaction. Nope. Right, let's check the clipboard. Abnormal dilation, no light reaction. Let's move on to his arms now. Check his reflexes. Yeah, he's got them. But, uh, see if he's a prick. Yep, still a prick. On both sides. And uh, see if he submits. Nope. Okay, and uh, near the legs. See if he submits. Nope. Nope. See if he's still a prick. Poka poka. Yep, still a prick. Just to make sure. Got to be thorough with these tests. And his reflexes. Seem fine. So let's have a look in the old neuro neurology textbook. Don't know about the brain, blah 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 blah. So like, I suspect. Uh, narrowed pupils. Oh dear! So it appears this man has cocaine running around in his brain. He's addicted. Right, well, I think the first stage of treatment here involves a patented brand of acupuncture. Stop taking fucking drugs, asshole! And, uh, we'll prescribe him. Um, refer him to a psychiatrist. Hooray! I did the right thing. Yeah, so, uh, got it right. No, okay, I've got a new patient in room four. Let's go and have a look. Let's see what this guy's story is. 35 year old, up to the emergency room. Unresponsive, right? Let's start with. Oh, this is some very, very narrow pupils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knows the words to Alice. Who the fuck is Alice? Does a prick test. Yep, he's a prick. Okay, I'd like to be thorough with that. Uh, try him with a laser. Pew, pew, pew! No, no response. And the derp later. Derp. Yep, that works. Okay, check the clipboard. Your scores there, and we'll move on to the arms next. So, did you submit? Nope. That? Nope. That prick test. Yeah, I like to be thorough. And check his reflexes. Yeah, they seem normal. And. Let's have a look at his legs. Reflexes, normal, normal. 
hård. Pin. Yeah, oh, he's thorough. Shaggy's definitely a prick for uh, diagnosing. And no, no, no submission. Okay, let's go and check our clipboard. And check our neurology book. And we've got another guy who's on drugs. This guy's hopped up on goofballs. I think he needs some Dr. Gazman acupuncture to help cure him of this affliction. Stop taking fucking drugs, asshole! And uh, let's prescribe treatment and send him to a psychiatrist. Yeah, he's addicted to morphine. Hopped up on goofballs. Unbelievable. Right. Let's, oh, got another one in room four. Oh, it's a... What's, what's this guy? 53-year-old man. Unable to use his right hand. Found him on the floor. Unable to move. Okay. Here was the words to Alice. Who the fuck is Alice? Yeah, he's a prick. Oh, ooh, interesting. Try the derp later. Oh, normal. Yep. Try the laser. Pew! Yep, his eyes work. Interesting. No pain on the right side. So, I'm going to check his arms now. He submits. Reflexes, at least. Another reflex there. Check he's a prick. No sensation on that side. Interesting. Yep, just one last check. Yep. Hmm. Right. Let's check his legs. Oh, weak leg. And a normal leg. Reflexes. Normal. Prick on that side. And nothing on this side. Weird. Let's have a look at the, the book. See what it says. No, it's not a morphine overdose. Hysteria. This commonly occurs in women. Interesting. So diagnose this man. We diagnose this man as a woman. Prescribe him a treatment. Sounds like I'm sure he's clearly crazy. Hooray! Hysterical paralysis. Unbelievable. Doing quite well at this doctor thing. Oh, we've got a patient in room one. You again! He's 42 years old this time. Uh, so, like. Oh, this doesn't look good. Uh, he doesn't know the words to Alice. Uh oh. Well, he's, he's still a prick there. Which I remember the derper later. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, it's kind of normal, I guess. And try with the laser. Only one of his eyes is working. This is bad. Well, when I say bad, it's, it's not good, shall we say. Okay, uh, check his arm. That one's okay. That one's not. Yep. Still a prick. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, he's got reflexes. Hmm, weakness on the left side. And. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to need a few more tests to really to see what this one's all about. Hmm. 
Uh, my suspicions, but we need more tests. Yeah. Right. Get some more tests. Hope you got good medical insurance. Let me just give him a MRI. Touch it on. Boo. Oh, got a dent in his brain. Hmm. Right. Okay, what else we got? A uh, cat scan. Oh, you see a, a white area there. It's definitely something in his brain. A skull x ray. Oh, he appears to have a crack in his egg. Oh, this isn't good. Angiogram. Yeah, looking different on the two sides there. It's uh, definitely something up. I reckon it's a subdural hematoma. Well, let's get scrubbed up, shall we? What is in the war? Should it be Mr. Gasman? I'm a surgeon. So, now you join us here in the operating theatre. First things first, let's wash our hands. Put on some gloves. Yep. Oof, right, so let's see, get some, uh, get some blood in there. And give this man a shot of B right in the head. Antibiotics, stop him getting ill. And make sure the, the drugs take. Yeah, that'll be Dr. Cole Phelps, your surgeon today. Oh shit, which side is he on? Oh shit. Yeah, so I go for spend all day in the hospital bar. Right, I've well, got 50 50 chance, I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah, just slather his noggin with iodine. Stop getting an infection or something. So that's for, I think. Um, put a little. There we go. Drawing a little smile on his head, and we're going to open it up with the old scalpel. Yeah, let's draw along the line. Oh, rather than using little squares of toilet roll. Like you do when you cut yourself shaving, we're gonna to have to use these little staple y things called rainy clips. Well, uh, uh, oh. it's, it's not like how they show it in like films and on TV and stuff like you know, you can just slice along in one continuous slice and just open it up. You do it really gradually. And put little staples in where it bleeds. Over. These little spots of blood appear anyway. Well, they're meant to go. Pain nurse. Yeah, okay. So I'm carrying on cutting. Oh. Don't go too far at once, otherwise, I'll, I'll bleed out quite badly. Come on. Bloody clips. Cutting, cutting, cutting. Ooh, get them on quickly. Stick them on, come on, come on. There we go. One more. There we go. Keep cutting along. Back to the cut. Oh, those nasty ones then. Yeah, just go. Come on. There we go. And a bit further. Oh, here we go. Come on, here we go. Just a little bit, for, a little bit more. Oh, and there we go. Perfect. Whew. Right, ready. 
no more of the truth. Take a deep breath. Get ready to open up this man's head. <gasps> ah, shit. He chose to operate on the wrong side of the brain. We'll discuss this in class. He's surprisingly calm about this. I mean, he's, he's not happy with me, but obviously, the, you know, he's. He understands I'm still learning. So, Dr. Katzman, report to the class immediately. Oh, well, I probably could have done with this class first. Well, drilling at the patient's skull, yeah. Perform a trepanation next time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make, make sure you operate on the right side of the head, which is the left or the right, depends how you look at it. Anyway, yeah, there we are. So we we're gonna get we're gonna get struck off. We're gonna face a board. No, they're just gonna let me continue to practice. It's probably best I slip out of here. Yeah, the GMC will probably let me off anyway. So there you go. Life and death to the brain. This game's for fun, not education. Nothing here is at all real. And if you think you could probably operate in someone's brain after doing this, then you probably genuinely do need a brain operation. But make sure you get one from a licensed, competent surgeon. Anyway, until next time, have a good one.